Hi, my name is Antonis and I'm an iconographer and a painter. It has been some time since I've posted here on YouTube uh, some uh, content, but uh, here I am again and uh, I plan to be more frequent, my, to have a more frequent presence here on YouTube again. And uh, this is a great opportunity for me to thank you all for your amazing presence during uh, these uh, uh, months that I've been away and uh, to thank you all for your amazing and beautiful comments. Now, today you see me drawing this uh, portrait of uh, my uncle Vangelis. This uh, uncle of mine is a man that I respect so much for his amazing uh, uh, hard-working uh, life and uh, he has a very interesting uh, face that uh, intrigued me and I really wanted to play a little bit with the pencil and my drawing tools and see if I can uh, depict a little bit uh, some of the adventures that uh, the light and the shadow uh, has on his face. Now you see me already uh, drawing um, uh, the face and uh, I really love drawing because uh, it's uh, such uh, it, it's a process that requires uh, so little in terms of uh, materials it is uh, confined you can say a little bit since there are, there is no color involved and um, I just have to uh, observe the tones the shadows the lights and the shapes this uh, is definitely something that uh, I recommend uh, uh, to my students. I mean, uh, using a lot uh, the pencil as a material to draw a lot, because this will definitely hone their uh, painting uh, skills. Uh, great painters uh, know well how to draw, and um, it's definitely part of uh, the, the process of uh, learning how to paint is definitely to learn and understand the principle, uh, principle, principles of uh, drawing. So I am uh, very supportive and uh, I uh, very highly recommend to my teachers, uh, to my uh, students, to um, learn how to draw and to draw as much uh, as they can. Drawing is um, a process of uh, seeing, um, know, knowing what you see and uh, knowing how to analyze your subject into shapes uh, and understanding better how to transfer these shapes uh, into, onto your uh, uh, paper. If you can do this with uh, just a piece of uh, uh, pencil and uh, an eraser, then uh, it's going to be so much more easy to move on with the brushes, colors and uh, uh, your more complex uh, uh, tools for uh, painting. So if uh, you really want to study in depth uh, painting, uh, do not uh, uh, skip the drawing process. Uh, feel, uh, uh, feel the excitement of uh, drawing even the simplest of uh, the subjects as uh, probably some still life uh, drawing, maybe some uh, fruits and uh, all this stuff. And um, it's great to... Uh, have some guidance uh, in this uh, process that will help you uh, better understand these uh, drawing principles and uh, uh, become better in this uh, skill. Um, I offer uh, online, I have to say that I offer online one-to-one -one, uh, tutoring uh, um, on drawing and um, it's really interesting to, to see the progress of uh, these students I have uh, uh, online and to, to feel their excitement and joy when they progress and when they truly unlock the, the code of uh, drawing and how to, to transfer what they see in reality into, onto a just a small and simple piece of paper.
Drawing is, um, for me, it's uh, really exciting because, uh, not only because the tools are so simple and um, you can carry and do it uh, whenever you like, uh, but also because it's uh, a process that can uh, hone the, my painting skills, as I said. Also, I find that uh, it does um, improve my, my memory. It makes me a little bit uh, less uh, stressful. And um, it really is uh, a, a process that I feel that moves my <laughs> brain uh, and makes me think... Uh, uh, better and harder and uh, it just wakes me up from uh, the the sleep of uh, always browsing around and always being uh, online so um, uh, if uh, I truly suggest you to just take a piece of paper a piece of uh, a rubber eraser and uh, uh, just um, work on something here, as you see on this uh, portrait, I've started by uh, drawing something, um, drawing a general uh, egg uh, shape. Then uh, I placed uh, my the nose of uh, uh, of uh, the of my uncle. I drew the nose, and uh, from there on, I started building the various uh, shapes around the nose. And when I'm talking about uh, shapes, uh, I mostly mean uh, shapes of uh, shadows and uh, of uh, light. If you notice, I proceed uh, with uh, barely uh, adding any tone on the paper uh, by adding my lighter tones. And then gradually, when I have set and established uh, where everything is going to uh, be placed, then I feel more... Uh, uh, confident to uh, go darker uh, and uh, add some pressure on my pencil and then add uh, these darker shapes of uh, shadow. As you see, this, uh, this way of uh, drawing, it's uh, of course, uh, each, each uh, artist has uh, his own uh, different style of drawing and uh, um, it's similar to the way of writing. If uh, we, our uh, writing character differs from each other, the same happens when we draw. Uh, although it's pretty realistic and uh, pretty close to the photograph, I would say, at the same time it has something uh, painterly, it's not uh, uh, as those drawings where they imitate uh, the the photograph uh, the photograph exactly it's not um, a photorealistic drawing I would say and um, it if you master this kind of uh, uh, realism you can definitely go more abstract uh, after that and uh, you can definitely add some more emotion and expression and alter your uh, drawing make make it more unique or uh, however you like. It's important though to understand the principles of uh, drawing, to understand and practice a lot on uh, what, uh, what are the steps, let's say, of uh, creating a beautiful, convincing uh, drawing uh, from uh, reality. If you are interested in uh, taking these uh, online uh, lessons uh, with me, uh, as I said, these are one-to-one uh, -one lessons and um, this is because I want them to be uh, aimed uh, to the needs of each student, uh, tailored to, to what uh, every student uh, needs. Um, you can uh, definitely get in touch with me. My email is on the description below. These uh, lessons um, uh, can uh, start from the beginning, like teaching uh, the, the basics of drawing, like lines, tones, etc. Or I can uh, review and give you some more homework uh, or um, give you some instructions of how to improve your drawing skills. As you see, this uh, drawing um, is already um, uh, 
coming to its uh, conclusion, um, there are uh, the, the shapes of light and shadows uh, all are already set. And uh, from here on, I'm just trying to do some more um, corrections, some more uh, improvements. When uh, I draw, um, I don't uh, really see specific uh, characteristics. I mean, um, I don't really see eyes. I forget what I know about eyes. I just try to uh, to analyze uh, uh, the shapes, as I said, that I see, the shapes of uh, shadows and uh, lights, the shape that uh, a tone has in a specific uh, area, and uh, just transfer these, uh, these shapes that I see on my reference to the uh, paper that uh, I draw. Here, for example, you see that uh, the upper eyelid of uh, the left uh, eye is in light. Um, here, if you go closer, or if you could see the actual drawing, you could see that there is no description of uh, an eye there. It's not really a description of uh, an iris or uh, eyelashes, etc. It's just the shape of uh, light that the upper uh, lid has. A little bit light, a little touch of light that the lower lid uh, has. And uh, I try to see if there is any reflections in the eye. Uh, I forget that there should be um, a circle. Uh, of the circle of the iris or the pupil inside there because uh, nothing of that is seen on my reference. In my reference I just see the shadows. So I, I would expect that I would see more of the white of the eye but there's nothing like that in my reference so I will just uh, draw and transfer what uh, I see. So it's good when you draw to just uh, forget about uh, um, specific uh, characteristics and what you know about them, but just try to see the the shapes and uh, um, and transfer those on your uh, drawing. This is um, something that requires practice. It's very very satisfying when uh, when we understand this principle, and uh, our drawings become very very. Uh, precise uh, and uh, uh, nice. Anyway, thank you again so much for uh, this, uh, um, for your presence, and uh, uh, it's very exciting for me to be back. Uh, really, really very exciting. Thank you again for uh, supporting this channel with uh, your presence and comments, and I will see you soon with uh, another video. Have a nice time in studio. Bye.